so far we have looked at example where we can lock or or interlock use interlock to basically lock threads and all but we have not encountered a scenario where we can signal other threads to basically acquire now you are free to acquire this thread so we have other synchronization primitives like auto reset event manual reset event semaphore countdown event we'll go in depth for each of this uh, shortly but it is very overwhelming initially if we don't understand the concept why and how basically it was introduced so uh, i think this analogy helps me to basically understand this concept properly if we see auto reset event as a turnstile opens once then closes automatically manual reset events means like gate once the gate is open uh, people may, can move in any number of time uh, and unless somebody closes the gate semaphore is like printer printer handles only has a less hardware right it handles only a few jobs at a time so semaphore handles concur limited concurrent thread then we have concept of countdown countdown event as well where basically uh, in rocket launch right we check with every team whether things are all okay when all team gives okay then the rocket launch proceeds so we wait for all events signals before proceeding so this analogy if you uh, if you remember this will help you to understand the concept thoroughly before we dive into the code thank you we saw auto reset event as an analogy as turnstile turnstile right one person at a time uh, goes through the turnstile and automatically the turnstile is open for the other another person other person so we will basically see here example of auto reset event in c sharp code here we have created instance of auto reset event and by default we are passing initial state as false so basically we will not allow any thread to basically pass uh, every all the thread has to wait for a signal signal so here if you see the main main block we are creating three threads three thread worker and calling worker worker and then we are waiting for the thread using dot wait one so wait one here will wait for the signal and only one thread will be allowed so basically initially when we are starting this application what will happen all the three threads will wait here for wait one in wait one and then we are waiting for one second so that all thread starts by dash time and is ready and, and are ready and waiting at the wait one now we have to basically signal right to start the threads uh, basically to allow the threads to oh, basically pass this line so we need to call set method so how many times we'll call the set method if there are three threads we'll call it three times so that's why we have a for loop here iterating three times and calling auto event set method so what here i'm running the application let's see how the application runs so all three threads initially wait are waiting and main thread allows one thread to pass so thread one got opportunity to get get uh, in uh, get in and then again the thre main thread allow another thread to pass the thread two got opportunity to get through and then again third uh, pass the set method was called a thread three pass through the turnstile i'll keep it side by side for some times for the, you to analyze here we are waiting initially for all the three threads here we are passing set method we are calling set method uh, one at a time after one second interval and then that's why we are getting thread one pass thread two pass thread three passed one one at a time this is my auto reset even consider it like a turnstile to remember it properly thank you 
let's try to understand the concept behind manual reset event we just saw the concept behind an auto auto reset event where only one thread at a time is allowed to pass and the thread goes to signal signaling state uh, automatically once the thread is allowed so here in manual reset event we have initialized manual reset event with false condition so initially the flag will be closed the gate will be closed if you think about gates so what we are doing here we are starting the three threads okay we are starting and waiting for three threads initially and we are here we are opening the gate by calling the set method so in this case what will happen all the three thread at once will get free and acquire and fire this met uh, this line thread pass through the gate now in manual reset event to close the gate again we need to call the reset method so we are closing the gate again the three threads have are done with their work we'll start another thread four we'll wait for two seconds for thread to start and then we will the thread four will still wait because they, there is no signaling so once we pass the uh, set message set message the fourth thread will go through so what we will get to see when i run this application is the first three threads are waiting we give signal the three threads have passed then we will start the fourth thread and it will wait for the signal and the fourth thread will execute let's run and see this is how it runs or not so see all the three threads are waiting message was called to, uh, to free up the gate so all the three thread went in and were executed successfully main thread closes the gate by calling the reset method then fourth thread is waiting for the gate now and then again we are calling the set method at the end this set method at the end the fourth thread which were waiting has passed the gate so this is how the manual reset event works from signaling perspective thank you let's look at countdown event here we have created instance of countdown event and we have passed the value of three so basically we are expecting to get three signals before we basically allow the threads to continue so here what is happening in the main method we have started three threads three thread started and then we are waiting for some time and completed and once the task is done we signal task is done so basically we are starting three threads all the three threads will signal task is completed and once all three ta all the task threads three tasks is completed the wait one signal will be over and then all tasks are completed will be printed so basically basically it's like rocket countdown you want approval from all the teams that we are very good to go so i'm starting the application let's see this in action three threads are three threads are meeting and then three threads are sent signal so if you see here the three threads were started here and then this wait we'll wait for all the three threads one two three to complete and when all the three thread were done with their work we printed all tasks completed proceeding with the next step much much similar to how rocket launch works thank you
Thank you for watching this video. This video is from a course in available in Udemy. The link will be available in description. In this course, we deep dive uh, into .NET trading concepts like introduction, high level trading concepts, fundamentals of thread, when to use tasks, threads, uh, async await, synchronization contest, mutex, pin lock, auto reset event, uh, and uh, I have also provided link for Git, uh, GitHub, uh, which is available. Uh, so here you can see, uh, get the PPT as well as the codes which are used. This uh, you can use uh, for freely uh, examples. I would encourage you to uh, uh, fork it and play around with it. Um, and uh, PPT, uh, if you see example, I have used analogies to make things much clearer like auto reset event can be considered as a turnstile, manual reset event can be considered as open gate, semaphore as a printer which is uh, taking only a few jobs, countdown event like rocket. So things you will remember for long time, the conceptually everything is uh, uh, explained properly so please uh, if you have time uh, uh, check my courses and check github link thank you very much have a good day